and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. How are you beauties doing today? I'm Rebecca Felgate, and I think that friends are great, except when they eat pizza pockets behind the camera and don't share them with you. I have lots of lovely friends who mean the world to me, but over the years I have had to ditch a few along the way because certain types of personalities just don't blend well. So for me, here are the top 10 worst types of friends. Once you've identified them, you can spring clean accordingly. Coming in at number 10, we have the mean friend. Do you have that friend that sure is your friend on paper and they may have been your friend for years, but actually, they're just kind of mean to you for no really good reason whatsoever. Often these friends will make jokes at your expense and seemingly only at your expense. Also if you get upset about it, they will berate you for not being able to take a joke. They'll be like, god it was just a joke, chill out. But then if you make a joke at their expense, ho 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 ho, all hell will break loose. That is simply unacceptable. Coming in at number 9, we have the troublemaker. Do you have that one friend that just seems totally un unable to stay out of trouble. They're always getting into scrapes or sticky situations with teachers, colleagues, friends and sometimes even the law. The troublemaker can almost smell trouble a mile off and they want to be in the thick of it. They just get off on that kind of action. While the troublemaker certainly does make life exciting, you don't want to get in hot water over something that you didn't do. I don't know, it's up to you, but maybe steer clear of this one. For those of you out there old enough to drink, you probably will have encountered this friend. Friend. For those of you not yet old enough, watch out for this one in the future. That's right, I am talking about the vomit friend, the terrible drunk, the chunder horse. That's right, at number 8, some people just simply cannot hold their drink, and the terrible drunk makes going on a night out an absolute nightmare as they refuse to know their limits. Obviously, because you're a nice friend, you end up looking after your drunk friend, which may involve you having to hold their hair back while they vomit. You might get cried on or even shouted at. None of these things are great, especially when it happens way too often. Know your limits, drunk friend. Coming in at number 7, we have the needy friend. Obviously, you don't mind being there for your friends, but when they're really, really needy all of the time, it can get pretty annoying. It's especially annoying when they make you feel guilty about wanting to hang out with other people or even just spend some alone time. Needy is never enjoyable. It's quite stressful and oppressive, really. Also, stressful but a little bit more of a you issue, coming in at number 6, we have the perfect friend. Ah, the perfect friend, the perfect friend. They're beautiful, effortlessly cool, they're good at everything, everybody loves them. How? How are they so perfect? What is their secret? It is so annoying. While having a perfect friend can be really irksome and disheartening for you, it isn't actually really their fault and you shunning them just because they're perfect won't help you be any more perfect so you probably just need to get over this one. You need to make your peace with your perfect friend and accept that they probably admire you too. Although I have to say it is still okay to feel a teeny tiny bit happy on that one day a year when they get a pimple because hey, at least they're human. Uh oh, it is the copycat friend at number 5. The copycat friend is the friend that literally copies everything you do. It starts with simple stuff like them taking an interest in your music taste which is great. Then it continues with them asking you where you bought your t-shirt or your shoes and then oh ho ho, lo and behold, look who has the same pair. Then they'll cut their hair just like yours and start adopting your phrases and even telling your jokes and then when they say something that others think is really cool and individual and unique, you'll be like, hey, I said that to you five minutes ago. Stop it. Stop it copycat friend. Although as they say, someone copying you is kind of a compliment. At least they think you're awesome. Coming into number 4, we have the self absorbed friend. Oh, so we're only going to talk about your problems. I see. Absolutely no time for mine. Right. It's not cool, it's like this every single time. The self absorbed friend only wants to talk about themselves and has no time for you. None. Not a smidge. Not a sausage. You'll be there with them when they need to talk, but when you need to talk, they'll either steer the conversation back to themselves or they simply won't be there. They 
actually don't really care about having you as a friend, they just want a friend so they can talk about themselves all day. Pretty boring. Snooze, self absorbed friend, snooze. Coming into number three, we have the jealous friend. Jealousy is an ugly trait, and I get it to a certain degree. A bit of envy is fine, but really, people should just be happy for you. So long as you aren't flaunting your fortune and luck compared to others, there is no reason for people to behave jealously to you. Jealous friends make life awkward because you know that they're not rooting for you. Of course, they will expect you to be happy for them if something goes right in their lives, but the other way around, you're just gonna be met with scowls. Coming into number two, never acceptable, we have the controlling friend. For some reason, some friends think that they get to decide everything you do, not just when you're hanging out together, but they will also have a lot of thoughts and opinions on the way that you live your life outside of their company. The controlling friend always wants to pick what you do and is very judgy towards you about decisions that you make that they don't approve of. Like, stay out of it, controlling friend. This is my life. Finally, at number one, the worst of them all, we have the frenemy. No, just get out of here, frenemy. I don't wanna see you. I don't need you. The frenemy is really nice to your face, but behind your back, they're trying to sabotage you. They're like a spy. They're like a spy that wants you to die. Okay, that might be a bit dramatic, but still, they aren't on team you and that's that's not okay. What is worse is that they're not upfront about it. Don't pretend to be Team Rebecca when you're not. They'll spread rumors about you, they'll do whatever it takes to tear you down, which just isn't okay. Cut them out now. So, guys, that was the top 10 worst types of friends. Essentially, you just want to be around happy people that you enjoy being around that bring out the best in you. Friends are great, stress is not. Cut the stress. Keep the best friends. Friends. I'm Rebecca Felgate. Let me know if you want me to be your friend in the comments section down below. Also, let me know what your worst types of friends are. Let me know and I'll try and respond to a few of your comments. For now, if you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10 because really, we're your friends.